So a diagonal matrix is a square matrix which only has non-zero elements in the leading diagonal. So this is an example of a diagonal matrix. Okay, so um, what I want to look at uh, in this video is the properties of this diagonal matrix by investigating its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay, so in working out its eigenvalues, we would be looking at the matrix M take away lambda I, which of course is 1 take away lambda, 0, 0, 0, 2 take away lambda, 0, 0, 0, minus 4 take away lambda. So we want the determinant of that matrix to be equal to 0. OK. Now the determinant of that matrix is just 1 take away lambda, 2 take away lambda, minus 4 take away lambda equals 0. And it's already in factorised form, so it's very easy to see that lambda 1 is 1, lambda 2 is 2, and lambda 3 is going to be minus 4. So actually, the eigenvalues of a diagonal matrix are precisely the elements in that leading diagonal. Okay? Now, what about the corresponding eigenvectors? So, where lambda 1 is 1, then our matrix here will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 5. Uh, multiplied by our eigenvector, or the zero vector. So we're going to get 0x plus 0y plus 0z, which equals 0. OK, so I'm not going to bother writing that down. We're going to get y is equal to 0. And we're going to get minus 5z is equal to 0, which of course is z equals 0. So you've got the, um, the y and z are going to have to be 0. The x can be anything you want, right? Well, as long as it's not. 0 in this case, because we can't have 0, 0, 0 as an eigenvector, right? So x can be your parameter t if you wanted to, if you want to think of it that way. So we've got a corresponding uh, eigenvector just do that, as 1, 0, 0. We'll put the t as 1, OK? Right. So that's lambda 1 equals 1. Right, now for lambda 2 equals 2, um, our matrix is, so we've got minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 4, take away 2, so minus 6. x, y, z equals 0. OK, so you're getting that minus x has to be 0, so that means x is 0. Um, not getting anything from that middle line. Minus 6z has got to be 0, so z has got to be 0. y, once again, can be any non-zero value you like. Right? So our eigenvector for lambda 2 uh, is going to be 0, 1, 0. OK, can you guess what the next one's going to be? Right? So, um, lambda 3 equals negative 4. 1 take away minus 4 is 5. 0, 0, 0. 2 take away minus 4 is 6. 0, 0, 0. And 0. So, 5x has got to be 0. So, x is 0. And 6y has got to be 0. So, y is 0. And z be any non-zero value you like. So, 3, 3, 0, 0, 1. OK? So, what do we have here? We have a situation where the diagonal matrix, we've got the eigenvalues um, popping out straight in front of us, 1, 2, minus 4. We've got the eigenvectors of this, are actually the base vectors in our three directions, OK? Um, so what this is saying is that 
Um, as along uh, the uh, uh, going along the x-axis, okay, um, we've got a line of invariant points. Okay, so any point that is on the x-axis remains precisely where it is because lambda is one. Um, any point that is on the x-axis, its coordinates are being multiplied by 1, so it remains where it is. So we've got a line of invariant points there. We've got an invariant line along the y-axis, okay, um, and all the points are being multiplied by 2, okay, so we've got a stretch along the y-axis um, like so. And finally, for the z-axis, all those coordinates that are on the z-axis are being multiplied by minus 4. Okay? So that is what is underlying this diagonal matrix. Okay? And we know that this is going to be the case. I and mean, we've seen um, what uh, transformations 3x3 three three matrices, matrices work with. So we should have been able to see that... Um, we're staying fixed on the x-axis, we're multiplying by 2 on the y-axis, and multiplying by minus 4 on the z-axis. Okay? So, what we want to think about moving forward is that a matrix that you have with a full set of eigenvectors, okay, um, will be closely related to the diagonal matrix that it is made of its eigenvalues, okay? So this is just an example to kind of show you what a diagonal matrix is doing behind the scenes with its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. But you will see in general that uh, a matrix and the diagonal matrix of its eigenvalues are closely related. And we're going to be exploring that in this section.